tale of two Watsons. You know, the criminal cult leader, the floating circus, those garbage guys who are buckets. Recently, His Excellency made a notation on his faceless book page, and it seems to contradict, well, that seems, it does contradict previous writings. Remember, a U.S. court ordered Sea Shepherd not to sail within 500 yards of the Japanese whaling fleet in the Southern Ocean. Well, they did. And the Japanese whalers took Sea Shepherd to court and was awarded over $2 million. So now Sea Shepherd's Watson, the criminal leader, he says, gee, I can't go into the Southern Ocean because Sir Steve Irwin is headed to the Southern Ocean to harass the Japanese whaling fleet. And he writes, I can't go there because of the U.S. court injunction, and I'm part of Sea Shepherd USA. You see, he's claiming that the vessels that go into the Southern Ocean, previously and in this year, they don't belong to Sea Shepherd USA, no. They belong to Sea Shepherd Australia, the Netherlands, maybe France, and some other nations, but not Sea Shepherd USA. So we can't be held responsible for what the Steve Irwin, which belongs to Sea Shepherd Australia, engages in in the Southern Ocean because he has nothing to do with it. He's innocent. So, so right he. Really? The tale of two Watsons. Here's the other Watson. <laughs> Recently, said the criminal cult leader on his faceless book page, he laments that Greenpeace rejected him as the executive director or something, the leader of Greenpeace, and he laments in this writing, you know, well, our nine ships, Sea Shepherd's nine ships, and Greenpeace's three vessels, that gives us 12 vessels that I, meaning him, will be able to coordinate on global issues. Yeah! He will be able to coordinate. He coordinates those vessels. The nine of them. So the Steve Irwin is one of those nine heading to the Southern Ocean to harass the Japanese fleet, will sail within those 500 yards in violation of the U.S. court injunction that he claims he can coordinate. So is he not responsible? Will he not be in violation again? Gee, somebody needs to let the Japanese whalers know about this writing. I wonder who's going to do that. Call it G. Walkers. <laughs> the tale of two Watsons and hopefully we got ourselves another lawsuit down the road. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in, and God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Nian Koku, and the Japanese mariners heading for the Southern Ocean. May it be a bountiful season for them. See ya. <laughs>